This is Lola Lee T. Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So I'm back with the latest from Stunner Girl and her ex. So I have no idea who this man is that's in the bed and Stunner spraying him. So if any of you guys know, definitely let me know in the comments. So she apologized to all her partners and business associates that are getting harassed. She said it's not her reaching out and she doesn't have a manager. She doesn't have that phone number anymore. Then we see Mula, her ex, taking pictures outside of cars, but not inside cars. And Stana literally calls Mula out. She says you can't post your steering wheel because you're taking pics next to random people's cars. You was just posting RJ's car and steering wheel, big cheesing. And it looks like he reacted to Stana's new alleged man, OT7 Kwani. And if you all will recall, I did drop that T back on August the 16th, 2024. He also reacted to OT Kwani's beef with another rapper. Check this out. That motherfucking damn! Whole ass rap niggas! Then he says he's gonna take a dump on Stunna and her new man. Hey bitch, you over there speaking of me, bitch. I'll take a shit on your face, ho. You did. <laughs> Tell hey, so your bitch ass nigga to stop copping, please, bitch. <laughs> on Philly straight. So it definitely seems like Mula is really crashing out. So he reacted to No Jumper's post of him getting curved by Caribou. And he, apparently he tried to book her for a show. And Stunna had something to say about the situation. She said, Caribou is my friend. He stole her number out my phone and it hit her when I left. I've been talking to her about a show a long time ago. We was gone do. He ain't got no money to book her. He reached out to her to make me mad. Just like he reached out to everybody else that is around me. Because he had no motion. He has to hang out with the I Hate Stunner crew. Leave my friends alone. And then he posted an ad for what looks like Craigslist or back pages of what looks like Stunna back in the day. And it looks like the alleged person on the picture here was selling some cat. And this was actually shared by Anna Mack a few weeks ago, I do believe, when her and Stunna were beefing. But I'm not going to show it. And Stunna has time today okay she has time today she's got some more time she posted about a loop colonoscopy but still pooping is what the article is saying here her caption said on this article bra on his third interview about me i still ain't did one stop mentioning my name i'm not a liar in this one she said dude literally sits on youtube and searches up or remembers lies, ops done said about me and repeats it. You can't trust somebody who got fake AI pics off the internet, then posted it like it was mine. Them fake panty pics ain't work. I don't even be wearing panties most of the time, gang. My supporters caught you lying a hundred times now. When you use an iPhone, the picture will show the date and location. That's how, that's how you know it's fake. Leave me alone for the millionth time. You and your fake followers you buy can kick rocks. You want to be famous so bad. It's sick. I didn't know about the video of you saying you blank blank till recently. You're probably the best liar I ever met. If I can give you your props on anything, it's that you're a tremendous liar slash storyteller. You're very crafty. And in this, she shares messages of herself and Mula. She just wants to be alone here, is what she's saying in these messages. She just wants her ice cream, and this man is bothering her. She's telling him, you know, if I'm doing something, don't bother me, leave me alone. She just wants her ice cream. And then I guess he got in his feelings because she was saying that to him. And, uh, you know, he didn't come back with her ice cream. So he admits here, you don't love me no more, it's fine. If it ain't worth fighting for, let the joke be on him. He didn't want to argue. 
And then in her caption here, she's basically saying he would fight, trying to fight me over my cat and still couldn't blank me. So this message here to me is just showing that she was done with him. She was absolutely done with him. And her caption said here, um, she's quoting him saying, can't touch my wife. And you're right. She's saying, I don't take showers. I take baths. Baby, run me my water. Mr. No water for weeks, boy. Because he was saying in other posts that she didn't shower, that she stank. So she reposted this person imitating her ex. So the caption said, your stunner girl husband trying to take a blank. And stunner's caption is, I swear to God on my brother, this is too real. Talking about come around my back. I'm just constipated. I'm like, no, the smell is too strong. Call fast. <laughs> And she's not letting up on him. She posted a clip of the IG Live of him crying because she had left him. Check this out. This caption she's saying here, you said I got STDs but couldn't even name them. Cat, you were my top eater. <laughs> Though, so you seeing your mouth on fire? Exactly. <laughs> Stop capping, gang. I ain't never had an STD in my blank life. Post receipts. She said, lift your shirt up and clear your name. Then if I'm lying, because I can go to the doctors and clear mine. You was just crying over the cat. Saying I got the best cat in the world. Now you saying, now you mad you say anything because I'm stating facts. Mad you can't blank me. Shrimp, you had no choice but to eat it. Some of the things that she says really crack me up. Talk about all these girls you secretly had on NDAs. All the freaky blank you was doing out there that I had no knowledge of. Oh my God. But you cried and lied to my supporters like you was so faithful. Cried in my face saying everybody was lying on you. These girls putting lawsuits on your blank for begging them for cash apps and not paying it back. You would lie and use my name and say they come in to work with me to get them here. But really you was sneaking off to hotel rooms, getting your freak on. And I guess she's posting here one of the secret freak offs. This girl is saying he owes her best friend $200. And the caption here says, all them secret freak offs you was having with that shrimpy <laughs> snapping turtle. Don't put your situation on me. So this person is telling, I guess, her story here. They're saying the three days I was there, I was scared as F. He was going to kick me out because I wasn't trying to do anything with him. He had my best friend buying him hella food, swearing something was wrong with his cash app. He swore he was going to pay her for her flights. Never did the millisecond he left. I booked a flight home and left without saying anything. He told me I was going to be working for you. You was going to be there. I thought I was only speaking to him because you busy. Nah, he's a weirdo and never felt more unsafe in my entire life. He bullies people, the people around him. He got some weird blank God complex. The whole time he kept saying I was going to be rich. Never once did we talk about anything business related. He had me drop everything, miss out on so much money back home just because he wanted people to party with the whole time I was there. He didn't take one shower, brush his teeth one time, and definitely was in a bathroom taking a blank for like an hour. 
he smells like actual, oh my God. He smells like actual dog blank and wore that and wore the same clothes every day. Blanks had me sleeping in dirty blank house. And I saw that blank bag and there was not one punctuation mark in this entire thing here that she wrote. Yeah, I had a bag on for a year. That shit off, my nigga. We ain't feeding, finna keep trolling. Nigga got shot, I survived it. I blank your mouth, not you. Is a big difference. You still ain't up a bag yet. It's been two weeks. Now you still waiting on that blank trap to add up. You don't got a hundred bands on you, Mr. Rich CEO. <laughs> Why you ain't drop episode two? Because I've been stating nothing but facts, y'all. Everything I say checks out. You busy doing interviews. Post some money. Don't go borrow your cousin Carl with the ice cream chain money. <laughs> and it's kind of true because I mean like, where is episode two? Mula, where is episode two? Where is it? And he hasn't posted any money. I haven't seen no money. He hasn't posted. He has not delivered. And here is Tana Girl at the bank taking out another 40K. She's saying, add me up. She's already taken out 120K this week. And we're all here waiting for Mula to show his money. Today's money is not yesterday's money. You dig? You dig what I'm saying, though? This 10K right here, this 50. 50 ball on you. 50 ball on you. Broke ass niggas and bitches up. Ah. <laughs> hey y'all, what's that song called? We could go band for band. Hey, we could go in for in. <laughs> Told y'all these niggas was broke. It ain't no uh, cap in my rap cousin. She lets it be known that Mula is buying fake followers and that he wants to be famous so bad. She says here, so bad. I'm weak as F. Nobody's coming to see you, Otis. And Mula responds to Stunner Girl posting her bank card, which shows Red Rum TV, LLC, and her name on it. And what he shows here is Red Rum TV, a California LLC company. And he said in his caption, we speak facts, not fiction, not an old bank card. He's saying he's playing chess, not checkers. And uh, he said, last time I checked, these are the only owners, list his name, two other people. And he has 80% and the other people have 10% and 10%. Stunner Girl responds back saying, how much fake paperwork you gonna make? You forget to block out the dates. 8 27 24 left my op you have her make fake contracts all day i literally can post one you had her make for your court date you just added the names to a piece of paper gang they can't show the bank cards because they are not owners and then she says here no real gangster go back and forth with a female all day while going live a hundred times and do five interviews and I'm going to leave you with this last post of hers. She said, but I'm not the owner. How many lies y'all going to let this man tell y'all? Imagine all the lies he done told in real life to all of us. Let him tell it. He, John Gotti, around this MF. And then she basically shows her bank card. And it does say on it, Red Rum TV LLC. It shows her name. What are your thoughts? Mula did say that episode two was going to drop. It has not dropped, but he is offering some behind the scenes stuff, but that is not the episode that he promised. He promised episode two. He promised all the episodes, but let's see what happens next. Let's see how this all plays out. Definitely let me know your thoughts and thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.